What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. I'm Michigan Sports Talk here. In this one, we're going to be talking about some running back coaching targets for Michigan, as well as what Jordan Marshall and Micah Capana have to say about the departure of Mike Hart and Michigan's chances of keeping that, plus Michigan returning two top 10 defensive tackles in college football in 2024. We also got some recruiting news as both Lamar Morgan and Brian Jean Mary have been in contact with some top targets at their position. It's all going to be in this video. Video and more so let's go ahead and get right into it So obviously it was announced a couple days ago that Mike Hart will not be Michigan's running backs coach next season. Definitely a huge loss for Michigan. You know, Mike Hart is a Michigan legend, came back here to be the running backs coach. Not only won a Big Ten championship here as the running backs coach, but also contributed to that national championship. But obviously now the focus is on keeping both Jordan Marshall and Micah Capana here at Michigan as they are two 2024 running backs coming in. Now, Jordan Marshall, he told On3 in the Wolverine that nothing has changed. He said, it sucks Coach Hart won't be there, but God has a plan for me, and that plan is for me to be at Michigan. He also said that he trusts Coach Moore to go get the best coach for me in the running back room, and he said, Michigan is home. Now, Micah Capana, his father, also said that we are still on target to enroll. We are on a mission, and tons of other uh, running back recruiting targets obviously wished uh, Mike Hart the best and hope he's doing well and everything you know obviously the big one right now is keeping Jordan Marshall which Michigan should be able to do because I tell you what Jordan Marshall is the next Michigan running back that could leave a career and a legacy just like Blake Corum he is supposed to be a beast and a lot of people are saying that he's already college ready but you know now Sharon Moore he has to go and get the best fit possible and the best running backs coach possible that he can land right now it's obviously you know not great timing to hire a running backs coach especially with spring ball and spring practice starting seven days away now but a couple of options for Sharon Moore uh, first one would be in the house and that is Denard Robinson I've already seen a lot of fans you know potentially wanting him to be Michigan's next running back coach now obviously you know he was a quarterback he was a running quarterback uh, right now he is the assistant director of player personnel for Michigan so you know it would seem like a stretch to make him our next running backs coach but he could be up for the challenge but I think a couple of better options would first be uh, DeMarco Murray he is a former team mate of Strone Moore's at Oklahoma where they both play college ball. And Marco Murray obviously a former NFL standout running back and right now he is the running backs coach at Oklahoma which is his alma mater. He's been there for four years so we'll see if Sharon Moore could possibly reach out and potentially both of them reunite here at Michigan. It will be tough though to bring him in and uh, make him leave Oklahoma but another guy is Devin Spaulding. He is the Wisconsin running backs coach and he is actually a Michigan native. It would obviously be the second coach from Wisconsin that Michigan has basically stolen away as they obviously got great Greg Scruggs, who was the former uh, Wisconsin defensive line coach at the time. Now, Spalding played running back and wide receiver at Central Michigan from 2014 to 2018. And Sharon Moore was actually coaching at Central Michigan before going to Michigan in 2017. So there are some connections there. He's also another young coach. So let me know what you guys think about those options. And also, if you guys have any other uh, running back coaching options for Michigan. But the next thing I did want to talk about is a top 10 returning defensive tackles uh, list for the 2024 season by Pro Football Focus. And both Kenneth Grant and Mason Graham made the top 10 list with Mason Graham coming in at number one and Kenneth Grant coming in at number six. Both Mason Graham and Kenneth Grant will be juniors this upcoming season. They've already had tons of success here and they should be a lethal duo on the defensive line. No doubt Michigan's defense is going to be elite again next season. But with that, I do want to talk about some recruiting news. Obviously, Michigan has gotten a whole new defensive staff. They have all been officially announced to their positions, which is big time news. As the only reason it took so long to officially announce that is because Michigan was, you know, doing all the background check 
checks and all of that. But uh, Lamar Morgan, the new defensive backs coach, has already started to recruit and get in touch with some Michigan targets. The first one is the 2025 three-star safety Marcus Wimberly. He's a three-star on 24-7 sports rankings from the state of Arkansas. Now, right now, it seems Oklahoma does have the lead. Uh, Michigan was trending for him for a little bit there, but obviously, you know, Michigan lost uh, defensive backs coach Steve Klingscale, many defensive coaches, but Marcus Wimberly told the Michigan insider and Brace Merritt that Lamar Morgan actually called him recently and he emphasized that he loves my film and was excited about me and wants me to be a Wolverine. Now, he did say that he's planning to take an official visit to Michigan, which will be a big time uh, visit for Michigan, but he said it definitely means a whole lot for Lamar Morgan to reach out and be the first ones, the first one that he reached out to. So then another guy was the 2025 four star safety Trey McNutt, who is ranked 23rd nationally in 24 7 sports rankings and number one safety in the class. He's from Cleveland, Ohio, and Trey McNutt got to talk to Lamar Morgan as well over the weekend. Now, Trey McNutt did take two visits last year, including including to the game against Ohio State, but it's going to be, you know, tough to win this recruitment. But Lamar Morgan, again, wasting no time in contacting Michigan's top defensive back targets. And another one that he got in touch with was Dwayne Galloway, who was a 2025 four-star cornerback from Columbus, Ohio as well. So pretty cool there. Lamar Morgan already out recruiting and in contact with some of Michigan's defensive back targets. And another defensive coach that has been busy is the linebackers coach, Brian Jean Mary. And one of his latest scholarships ships offered is actually to the 2025 four-star linebacker Tarvos Alford from Vero Beach, Florida, ranked 53rd nationally on 24-7 sports rankings. And he told the Michigan Insider that I found out from coach Brian Jean Mary. He said it means a great deal. They have produced some good linebackers and I'm definitely interested. Me and coach BJ already had a relationship from Tennessee, so I'm very interested. And he also hopes to check out Ann Arbor in the future. And a couple of other linebacker targets that Brian Jean Mary has contacted is first, uh, Noah McHale, who is a 2025 four-star linebacker from the state of California. And there is already a pre-existing relationship between the two as Brian Jean Mary did offer him back when he was uh, on the Tennessee coaching staff. And another one is a 2025 four-star top 100 linebacker as well, uh, Dawson Merritt. As Michigan had already offered him about two months ago, Brian Jean Mary was back in contact with him. So uh, those are a couple of defensive back targets and linebacker targets that both Lamar Morgan and Brian Jean Mary have been in contact with. But uh, with that, that's going to wrap up today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure you guys go ahead, drop a like, comment down below, and subscribe for more. If you are new around here, I greatly appreciate it. But other than that, we will see you guys in the next video. Go Blue!